Step 1. Select a suitable plastic or metal tray, check the fit and extension of the tray in the patient's mouth. Four wax stops are placed in the trays, two in the canine region and two in the molar region. Ensure that the tray is capable of recording the entire alveolar ridge without appearing to impinge on the ridge or the sulcus. For the distolingual fossa, this area must always be recorded in periphery wax as the tray extension will be inadequate to support the impression material. Place the periphery wax on the border of the tray from the region of the pre-mylohyoid fossa and lateral to the border at the region of the retro-mylohyoid fossa. Step 2. Mix alginate according to the manufacturer's instructions and load level with the border of the tray. Step 3. Place the tray preferably straight up towards the palate. Pull the patient's upper lip down as far as possible and ask her to open wide and smile broadly. Close the jaw and move from side to side. Step 4. Remove the impression when the alginate has set fully. Step 5. Evaluate your completed impression.